question 15, look at the letters below. Circle the letter below that has both parallel and perpendicular lines. Well, the first thing we need to do is understand the meaning of the word parallel and perpendicular. So I've done some examples here. So parallel lines are basically lines which are pointing in the same direction and would not touch if the lines were continued. Perpendicular is just a posh word for lines which are at right angles to each other. So if you can see a right angle in the letter, then it's going to contain perpendicular lines. So let's see what we can see. Well, look at the letter A. Can you see any right angles? There are not really any right angles in letter A. So we can forget about letter A. Letter A is not going to be the one that we want. Letter C is just completely curved. So there are no sort of angles in there at all. So we can forget about letter C. Now let's have a look at letter E. Letter E is a bit more of an interesting one. So we have got right angles in the corner here. That's a right angle. That's a right angle. That's a right angle. That's a right angle. And so we definitely got right angles and perpendicular lines in letter E. But do we have parallel lines? Well, these three lines are all parallel to each other because they're all pointing in the same direction. So letter E could definitely work. So letter E, we could circle. That has got parallel and perpendicular lines. What about letter L? Well, letter L... We've got, we definitely got a right angle in the corner here, but those two lines are meeting. They are not pointing in the same direction. So there are perpendicular lines on letter L, but there are no parallel lines on letter L. So that one we don't want. So it can't be letter L. And letter Z, well, there are no right angles on letter Z. So this angle here is not a right angle, that's acute. And this angle here is also acute. So it can't be letter Z because there are no perpendicular lines. Although letter Z does have a pair of parallel lines. That top line there and that bottom line there are parallel. But even though it's got parallel lines, it does not have perpendicular lines because there are no right angles. So it can't be letter Z. So the only letter that has both parallel and perpendicular lines is letter E. You can see the parallel lines marked with the green arrows and you can see the perpendicular lines are marking off in each corner here with a blue dot where the right angles are. So that's why letter E's got perpendicular lines.